Bystanders shot these videos Friday night on Quebec City's popular Grande Allée. Police officers arresting two black teenagers, dragging this girl and pushing her face into the snow. An officer also appears to deliberately kick snow into the face of this 17-year-old boy. Witnesses shout out in horror. The teen is a young refugee who recently moved to Canada. His boxing coach says he was appalled to see the video online. He's a good kid, he says, always smiling. While an internal investigation is underway, the Quebec City mayor is asking police to answer for their actions, which he called disturbing. The province's minister responsible for the fight against racism, tweeting the videos raise questions and he will be following the investigation closely. There was also strong reaction Sunday morning at Quebec's Liberal Party convention, not far from the scene of the arrests. It was really troubling. Liberal leader Dominic Anglade says an internal investigation is insufficient. She's calling for an independent inquiry to get to the bottom of what exactly happened and whether the arrests and the officers' behavior were racially motivated. I don't want to conclude that this is because of, uh, 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 this is because of systemic racism. I mean, we, we need to have an independent, but it does raise a question. It does raise a question. This activist says while racial profiling is hard to prove, the video does show something very wrong. The question I'm sure most of the public is wondering is, especially the one who put his boot full of snow in the kid's face, why is this man still working today? Liberal MNA Greg Kelly tabled a petition in 2019 to equip police officers with body cams. He says this would have helped to put Friday's events in context. Government seems to be dragging its feet. I think that's at least one thing we can do quickly to help provide some more confidence uh, in the relations between our citizens and police forces. Relations that remain tense, particularly when it involves people of color. Raquel Fletcher, Global News, Quebec City.